Thank you very much. I feel I'm getting a lot of responsibility. I need to speak after people that have read more books than I will ever be able to read for the rest of my life. And uh, also I need to save the planet, according to, to Melina. I, I have my phone here, that's where my notes are. Uh, so I'm not checking my Instagram, as we do. Um, I, was, I was asked, thank you very much for putting me up on stage, I was asked, why can't you come up and just say what people should do? Because uh, there's going to be some very clever people saying about many, talking about many big issues, and then you can come up and come up with some conclusions and some concrete things that people can pick up and do. I think that's, uh, that's, that's putting me on the spot for sure. Thank you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a chef, as I was saying before, uh, and I do what some of us uh, chefs do, is that I open a restaurant. I open a restaurant soon to be 10 years ago. Uh, and then I opened another one, as some of us uh, chefs also do. And then there was another one, and there was a fourth one, and there was a bakery. And then, and then there's a wine import, because the, those, those restaurants need some wine. And, and then the, the, the next thing was uh, to, to, to do a farm, establish a farm. Because uh, uh, to me... It was, it was very interesting once, once I got to the, to, the, to the second restaurant, it was the question that everybody would ask me was, when, so what, when is your next project? When are you gonna open the next restaurant? And, and I was sort of put off a little bit by this idea that, that uh, that's, that's the only way you can, you can success, su successfully work with restaurants as in expanding and expanding and expanding. I thought the idea of, of just having this linear uh, um, project of, of wanting to do more, grow in the sense of, uh, of uh, having more, did not really uh, um, inspire me. My idea was to grow a little bit deeper, if you can say so. Uh, because uh, to me, what always was the inspiration for all the different things that I've done, as me are saying, um, I do pizza on, as I did the Sunday, and I do all sorts of different types of food, but it's always been sparked by some, some inspiration that has been based on the produce, uh, and, and what, what that has sort of brought me to do. I started making cheese at base because uh, I was just intrigued by this very, very fascinating uh, craft. And uh, to, to, to really ask myself the big question, I, I think that uh, it, was, it was time to sort of get on my knees and, and try to, to, to understand where the produce came from. And uh, we established the Farm of Ideas. Uh, it's now the fourth growing season. We've just uh, finalized. And a lot of the things that uh, Carolyn was uh, touching upon are, are resonating with me because uh, the true value of food is, is something that we have, have become alienated to in, in society in general. And I also think that in the restaurant industry we have, uh, we have the, same, the same problem. I, uh, I, I realize that while uh, you, you're on your knees, you also get to get in some pretty simple and some would say boring, I wouldn't call it boring, labor, uh, that, that allows you to think about many things. And uh, for me, it has been very much the, uh, the role of the chef and understanding the role of the chef and, and the role of gastronomy. And, and question myself, what is it that we are supposed to do? And I think that we, we face many, many issues uh, that are clearly, as so well put, uh, um, based on, on the way we see food and how little we value it. And somehow we manage in our little world, our little niche world of restaurant, in particular of a high level, to make people uh, understand the value of food because uh, people tend to spend a lot of money in some of the restaurants that we work in or own or, or are in. And uh, for us to be able to to... To bring this further, I think that there's some uh, questions we need to ask ourselves. Um, 
I have four restaurants, a bar, and a farm, and I have accepted to take the full responsibility for what comes out of this farm, that I want to be of the highest quality, and I want it to be in a very low-tech, handheld meta, and I realize that the true value of the produce and the cost of producing produce like this is surprisingly high. It surprises me and blows me away how difficult this shit is. If we, a restaurant that is geared towards using vegetables as it always has been, that are willing to use the worst beet leaf you can dig out as a part of a menu that is worked out in some creative way to something that is tasty. If we have a hard time making this thing come around, well, it's very, very clear that we have a big problem. Because when we live in this world where we're used to a certain cost for the produce, for the vegetables that you buy in a supermarket, or even worse, through your wholesale as a restaurant, then it is just invisible to you what it is of an effort that is put into it. We live in a world where subsidies and, and this system that is extremely industrialized um, have, have masked what it is it takes to grow these vegetables. I think to get on my knees and really understand, or try to understand, because really after four years I have to accept that I really feel that I, I came with a lot of questions and I'm, I'm only uh, picking up more questions. Because my understanding is more than anything that there's so much I have to learn. Um, I think the conclusion must be that we can put it in a context when a restaurant you can actually have people enjoy this food for the cost that it should be, but that the challenge that we face is tenfold once you step a few steps away from our niche into the uh, real society. And to face these things, I think we have a big responsibility to take upon ourselves, because as a chef, we must take on the role that, uh, that uh, in older generations have been taken by your grandmother or your aunt or my aunt in Sicily that shows, shows me tradi traditional foods and how they're made because in the next generations those uh, grandmothers are, maybe in this crowd they're here, but, but there's not many of them. So who, who is going to uh, give an understanding of what is the true value of food? I think it lies upon us, as in uh, chefs being the ambassadors of uh, gastronomy. Because to me, one of the questions that I ask myself is, what is gastronomy? And gastronomy to me is not a question of having the highest hat in the kitchen, the highest stock. To me, gastronomy is... Uh, uh, picking this uh, Swiss chard once it's, uh, it's ripe, to get the first strawberry off the field at the right time when it's right. And gastronomy lives through the idea of the seasons, through the idea of uh, abundance at times and scarcity at other times, and the virtue that lies in understanding that some things you can only appreciate because you do not have them all the time. And all these things, are not at all even relevant in today's market and in today's uh, uh, food system. So, gastronomy to me is really what we need to expand as a concept. I think the restaurant industry is, uh, is almost tiring me a little bit in many senses because we do a lot of talking. But I think gastronomy needs to be able to be something that with an act of generosity gets brought on to the next step. If I'm, if I'm asked uh, by uh, uh, Melina to, to give people something that they can do, I think, I think what you should do is to, to get down on your knees. Get down on your knees and essentially, if you're in the restaurant industry and you have gastronomy underneath your skin and you understand what it is to actually truly appreciate and value the food that you put on a plate, 
then you need to bring that thought with you out of the restaurant industry. Get down on your knees, bring gastronomy with you, and make this understanding of what the true value of food is. Thank you.